Whilst we were on holiday, Mrs Disgruntled and I went to the Abba Museum in Stockholm. This is much more her thing than mine, but given that I had essentially booked our holiday to fit in with a concert I wanted to go to, I thought I'd best go along with this. The one downside being that I utterly despise ABBA, or at least I thought I did until I had an epiphany at the ABBA Museum. You see, I don't dislike the musicians or their music, it's what I associate their music with. Let me try and explain, maybe some of this will resonate with you. When I think of ABBA, the first thought that comes to mind is wedding receptions. A wedding reception between 9 and 10 o'clock at night, everyone's pissed up, the bride and groom have just had a massive fight in front of everyone else. So now between the sandwiches and volivants, people are taking bets on how long the marriage is going to last. So to lighten the mood, the DJ will stick voulez vu on, and within seconds, the dance floor is littered with pissed up middle-aged women, for some reason taking their shoes off, dancing neither in time to the music nor each other. The next thing I think about with ABBA is hen nights, because we've all had a night ruined by a hen party. You're in the pub, chatting over the issues of the world with a few friends, then the door bursts open and in come 15 trolleyed up women wearing pink dresses and angel wings. You can tell who the bride-to-be is because she'll have a 15-inch dildo strapped to her head. And one of the group will then put gimme, gimme, gimme a man after midnight on the jukebox and it ruins your fucking evening. Also, the song Dancing Queen. Many a time I've seen an extremely camp gay man put that on the jukebox and then laugh hysterically at himself because he is a dancing queen. Now I'm all for gay rights but there has to be a fucking limit. But the main thing that puts me off, ABBA, are the musicals. Mamma Mia and its sequel, Mamma Mia Here We Go Again I think it's called. Now I'm aware that this type of exceptionally lazy type of musical, lazy because all the songs were already written years in advance and then a very loose plot has been tacked on. The first one of them was actually Ben Elton's We Will Rock You, the Queen musical. Now I'm a huge Queen fan, but I'm bugging if I'll pay money to go and see that. And as for Mamma Mia, well I've never seen all of it, but after five minutes of watching Pierce Brosnan dancing, I feel like I want to vomit blood. I mean, he was James Bond, for God's sake. And as far as I can make out, the plot for Mamma Mia is apparently a young woman trying to find out who her real father is out of her mother's three lovers. Mamma Mia is a good title, but I guess it should be called Your Mother's a Cock-Hungry Cum Slut. But it was in the ABBA Museum that this epiphany happened, because without all the usual negative influences that I associate with ABBA music, I could just listen to the songs. And for the first time ever, I realised how good they are. The vocals are amazing. It was like I'd never heard it before. So, as much as I'm a proud metalhead, I have to say, at the moment, I quite like ABBA. Except for one thing. In the gift shop, the song playing was the aforementioned Dancing Queen, and it's been on my head for five fucking days! Nothing will move it! I've had speed metal, thrash, classical, even fucking jazz! And the second it goes quiet in my head, Friday night and the nights are low. But, you know, that one negative experience can't offset the huge influence that ABBA have had on pop music. So ABBA, thank you for the music. And if, like me, and you're familiar with 1980s British comedy, you'll know that ABBA were originally a Lancashire clog dancing trio. Arthur, Betty, Boris and Angela.